Hi, Maggie. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. So, wait for a minute. Okay. I need you to wait for a minute because my internet is a bit slow. I'm having a hard time with my internet now. It's very rainy here. So, sometimes in the Philippines, if it's too... If the if the weather is bad, uh, the internet is bad also. <laughs> okay, so I need you to give me a little bit of, a little bit of time. Wait, let me just open my. How are you? Good. You okay. Yeah. You cold? Yeah. Yes, it's a bit cold. Let me just share my screen. Okay. Let me just open my piano. Did you practice your chords? No. No? <laughs> Okay, let's practice your cards now, okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to, I'm going to check first um, uh, if you remember your chords for your song. Yes. Then we're going to practice the song and how the chords are um hard how the chords are played on this song uh, how long does this chord is going to be played per part all right so there you go Just going to open our chords. What time at your what 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 time is it at your side? It's okay. Ten thirteen. Ten thirteen. The evening. Thirteen. At the evening, right? PM. I thought you were you were wearing a blanket. <laughs> Is that a jacket? No. Is that a jacket? What's that? Uh, a hoodie. Oh yeah, it's a hoodie. Hoodie. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you see this one right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you remember your chords? Can you remember your G? Yeah. Can I see? Good job. G, what's next? Can you, uh, can you check this one? So we're going to do the intro first. Intro is G, D, B minor, A. Can you remember your D? After G, where to go if you're going to go to D? It will be... G, what will you do if you're going to D? <clears throat> A, 
A, D, F sharp. Correct? One more time. What is the what is your chord D? A. Yes, there you go. That's correct. A D F sharp. Okay. Teacher is just uh playing the lower part of it. Okay, it's okay. You can play that one since uh it's uh in front of your right hand. What's next? B minor, good job. B minor will be just B, D, F sharp. Correct. Is it correct? B, D, F sharp. Next, after B minor, A. A will be good job. That's correct. A, C sharp, E. There you go. That is the intro for this song. One more time. Now, I, I want you to repeat this, but let us count for each, each chord before going to the next. Sample G. One, two, three, four. Next. What's next? D. One, two, three, four. B minor. Two. Three, four, two, three, four. We can do it a bit slower. Can we do it? Yeah. Okay, every four counts. Every four counts, you go to the next chord. All right? Ready? Ready, and one, two, three, four. Next. D major. Good. One, two, three, four. Next, B minor. Two, three, four. Next, A. Good. One more time. Repeat. Just, just repeat it. Ready and G. Two, three, four. D. Two, three, four, B minor. Two, three, four, A. Two, three, four. There you go. Okay. You just count four times or four, four beats each chord. And that will be the count each chord for this song. That will be the, just the intro, okay? So you know what intro in a song means? The first part of a song, <laughs> that's intro. We call it intro. So the intro part, uh, usually, uh, it doesn't have lyrics first, okay? We call it intro. Now, after the intro part, there will go with, you will... It will be the verse. So verse one, it's the first verse. So verse one is where uh, the song is, uh, I mean, the story of the song is. Okay? So first verse, this is the whole first verse. Okay? Okay, now notice this one. Notice this one. The verse actually has four chords also. It also has four chords, but it doesn't start on G. It will start on B minor, G, D, A. After that one, you just need to repeat that group of chords. B minor, G, D, A. B minor, G, D, A. B minor, G, D, A. That's it. Okay, so this one is verse one. This one actually is the chorus already here. Okay, so we, we're going to focus verse one first, okay? Is it okay? So how, how, how many did you are... Uh, 
how many did you repeat the group of discords the group of the the chords huh? the group of discords will be repeated four times as so you can see here one two three four times so four times of this group of chords that will be your verse one it's okay remember verse is where the story is um it's the storytelling of the song okay verse one verses or in the verses then after verse usually uh after verse it will be the chorus okay have you heard of this uh have you heard of this words verse chorus intro not yet no are you familiar with those words or have you heard of it yes you've heard of it okay so this one are the parts of a song the body of a song always it's always the verse chorus or sometimes there is bridge part or coda part then it will just go back to verse two it will be verse two then coda it's chorus then end okay this is the body of a song so it's very important that you know where to go so when I say, Maggie, let's go to verse one. Let's repeat verse one. Maggie, let's go to Carlos one. Maggie, let's go to etc. Okay? You understand this? Okay, let's go to verse one. Okay, what are the group of chords that we need to do for our verse? B minor. Can you go to your B minor? Next, G. After B minor. Good. Next, D. Good job. Then A. That's it. Okay. Now, you just need to repeat all of these chords for your verse one. Okay. One more thing is H. Each chord will also have four counts. Okay? Just need to count four counts or four beats each chord before you go to the next one. Sample in B minor. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two. Uh, where am I? Two, three, four. Two, three, then you just repeat B minor. Two, three, four, G. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, A. Two, three, four. Now we can sing along. Ready? One, two, three, go. Overcome. Then the next chord is G. Yes, he will. Oh, sorry. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Two, three, four. Fight for us. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Okay? So that will be exactly four counts each chord if you're going to sing with the song. Okay? Are you ready? Let's go play B minor, G, D, A. B minor first. Ready? Two, three, four, G. Two, three, four, D. Two, three, four, A. Two, repeat. B minor. Two, three, four, G. Two, three, four, D. Two, three, four, A. Good job. Two, three, four. One more time. B minor. We're here already. Third part. Uh, third repeat. B minor. Two, three, four, G. 
Two, three, four, D. Two, three, four, A. Two, three, four. One more time. Last one. B minor. B minor. G. Two, three, four, D. Can you check your chord? D will be A, D, F sharp. Two, three, four, then A. Okay, there you go. Two, three, four. That's it. That will be your first one. Okay. So if there, one, uh, there is somebody going to sing already, or you if you want to sing, uh, it's very important that you know already the group of chords for your parts of the song. Example for verse 1, B minor, G, D, A. You're just going to repeat it four times. Now, uh, Maggie, <clears throat> it's very important also that you, you count each chord or, or if you don't count, you just need to make sure that uh, if you're look if you're going to look at your lyrics, look here. B minor is actually played before before the uh, the lyrics overcome. Did you notice this one? Did you notice that the chords is not above the word overcome? Then G is not uh, also above the uh, word overcome. It's because I, I placed it. I placed it uh, where they they should be played. Okay, so you play B minor first before singing or singing the lyrics. Overcome then chords G. Oh, sorry. Yes, he will. Now the chord D will be played exactly after. Or the word will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Did you get that? Yes. Did you get the idea of the chords uh, placed above or placed above the lyrics or after the lyrics, above the lyrics? You get it? But, but. If you are not singing it yet, you're going to practice the chords. It's better to count each chords four times or four beats. Okay? It's easier. It's easier. But if you have a singer, if mom mommy is going to if your if your mom's going to sing along, it's actually easier. Or if you want to sing, you want to sing along while playing? No? Who's going to sing? Is mommy going to sing? Yes. yes. Where's mommy? At work. Mommy's not yet uh, around. She's at work. Ah, she's at work. Okay, it's okay. Okay, so if mommy's going to sing, you just need to make sure that you need to count each chord four beats or four counts, okay, before you go to the next one. So that the singer, the singer won't have a hard time um, singing along with you if you are you're going to play along with the, uh, with the singer, okay? You get it? Yeah. Okay, so it's very important that the singer and the pianist or the accompanist, okay, that it's very important that you will go in sync <laughs> because there's no use if you're going to play too fast and the, uh, the singer is uh, not that fast or too slow you just need to make sure that you are in sync okay now let's go to the chorus part now this one is chorus part all right actually chorus part is just the same group of chords Chorus part is just the same group of chords. Wait. Yeah. 
Okay. So in the song, there's a lot of chorus. There's a lot of uh, uh, sometimes there is three chorus, but mostly it's just two chorus or three. Um, we will call it the chorus one. Okay. The chorus part is where the story of the song is. Uh, there will be um, a very catchy melody. So we lift him up, we shout his face. Can you do you know how to sing this chorus part? Mm -hmm. Yes, do you know how? Can you sing it with me? Can you sing it with me? Yes, he will. Yes, he will too. So we lift him up. Go, so we lift him up. We shout his praise. His blood of feeling, go. His love is vast. No matter what the mountain, no matter what his name, no matter da da da. Then we get two, three, four. Okay, each chord also will have four counts, all right? Can we do the group of chords? G D B minor A G D B minor A. So in the, on the chorus part, you just need to repeat the group of chords of G D B minor A two times. Okay, you see this one? It's the first group. This one is the second group of chords. Go. So it's like what is the uh what is the group of chords? It's like the chord. I mean the intro part. G, D, B minor, A. Diba? Correct? Let's do this group of chords. Come on. G, D, B minor, A. Ready? And we count four times each. Chords. Ready? One, two, three, four. Two, three, D. Two, three, four. Next, B minor. Two, three, four, A. Two, three, four, G. Go back to G. Two, three, four, D. Two, three, four. <laughs> Next, B minor. Two, three, four, A. Let's sing it. Can we sing? Ready and one, two. So lift him up. Shout his praise, small and a feeling. Love is best, no matter what the mountain, no matter what his name. Done it all, da da. Heal again. Is it correct? Did I sing it correctly? Miguel's laughing. Why is me? Why why Miguel is laughing? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, do you want to sing along, Migo? He said no. <laughs> okay, so just remember to practice group of chords. If if you're going to go to verse one, just need to make sure you uh, practice group of chords. So B minor, G, D, A. Okay, now you will repeat that one for four times. Now, if you go to chorus... You just need to practice G, D, B minor, A twice. All right? Please practice this one, okay? So next time, we are going to play along with Migo and Mom. Okay? Is correct? Four. How many, how many counts do you will have each chord? Four. Four counts. Each chord, huh? Just need to make sure it's four. Don't uh, don't go to the next chord after three. It's before, it's after four counts. All right? Are we clear? Okay, where's Migo? It's Migo's turn. Practice, okay? A few weeks ago, you said we can learn a new song. Yes. We can learn a new song, but we need to make sure that we are going to play 
this one properly already. Okay, we're going to do a new song if we already go. We are already good at this song. Okay, we're going to play this one together with Migo and Mom. Now, if you can already play this one, we're going to start a new song. Is it okay? Yes. All right. Where is Migo? Where is he hiding? Hi, Migo. Hi. Did you practice your group of chords? Yes. Okay. So the same thing that we're going to do, we're going to do what uh, Maggie did. Okay, we're going to count each chords four times, I mean four beats, before going to the next one. So in this way, uh, if in this practice, this is to make sure that uh, you can play along with the pianist and the singer. Okay, so same thing. We're going to count. We're going to do parts of the song, the intro part, the verse one, chorus one, and it's just gonna go back to verse again. Okay, can you remember the chords? Can you go to intro first? Can you do this group of chords? G, D, B minor, A. Two, three, four, B minor. Uh, sorry, D, yes. B minor. Can you remember your B minor? Do you need do you need the tablature? Yeah. Yeah. Here. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, go. G D B minor A. Go. B minor. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Not that. Hmm. Check your third finger. Third finger should be on the fourth string, and your fourth finger will be on the third string. Fourth finger. Not that. Okay, one more time. Okay, I'm going to give you a system how you will read your tablature and follow your left hand fingers. Now, if you're going to look at this one, Nico, you just need to make sure to look at the first, the first number. First number is color blue. Now, color blue will be for your left hand. So I need you to prepare your first finger. That will be first finger on the first string, second fret. Okay? This is the system you're going to follow so you won't uh, be confused. Next, second finger, second string, third fret. That will be here. Second finger, second string, third fret. Correct. All right. Next will be fourth finger which is the pinky fourth finger fourth finger on the third string fourth fret okay there we go now next is the third finger above which is on the fourth string that's correct that's correct third finger fourth string Fourth string above, just above uh, your fourth like finger. Is it like this? Yes. Okay. Now go back here. Look at every fret and numbers. All right. That's your B minor. 
So it's very important that you can memorize your chords so that you won't have a hard time playing uh, along with the song already. Okay, memorize your chords. So your B minor will be this one. All right, is it, is it okay? Yes. All right. Now next, A. Go to A. There you go. Okay, one more time, G. I need. I will. We're going to count four beats. For okay, four counts each chords before going to the next one. Okay, G. Go back to G. One, two, three, four D. Two, three, four B minor. Put down your second finger. There you go. Uh huh. Check your third and fourth. There you go. Two, three, four A. All right. All right. One more time, just you. Go one more time. G. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, wait. Make sure, amigo, make sure not to hit the fifth string, okay? Just hit from the fourth string to the first string. Okay, go. B minor. Two, three, four, A. Good job. Two, three, four. Then that will be just the intro part. Let's go to verse okay verse will be the group of b minor g d a it will be repeated four times okay b minor first one two three go b minor. two three four g two three four d two three four a two three four repeat b minor Okay, relax first. I need you to repeat your B minor. Make sure it's on the right strings. Look at your first finger. Okay, first finger should be the first string, okay? One, two, three, four, G. Two, three, four, D. Two, three, four, A. Three, four, repeat, repeat. B minor. Mm -hmm. Check, check, check. Wait, wait. Go back to B minor. Can you go back to B minor? Okay, practice that chord, okay? Two, three, four, G. Two, three, four, D. Two, three, four, A. Okay, that's it. Then just need to repeat it four times. Okay. Now let's try uh, playing intro going to the verse. Okay. So intro will be G, D, B minor, A. Just remember that it will be each chord will have four beats or four counts. Then you go directly to B minor for the verse. Are you ready? Let's go back to verse. I mean to intro. One, G. One, two. One, G first. G, G. Intro. Intro is G, D, B minor, A. Ready? And B minor. G. Two, three, four. D. Two, three, four. B minor. Two, three, four. A. Okay, B minor for verse. Ready? And. Okay, first finger in the first fret, I mean first string, okay? Careful on that chord, B minor. Two, three, four, G. Two, three, four. Yes, he will. Two, three, four, B minor again. Five, four. Us. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Two, three, four. B minor again. Be our strength. Yes, he will be 
Yes, he will. Two, three, four. One last time. Fight for us. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Okay, now here goes the chorus. So lift him up. Okay. Chorus is actually a group of chords just like intro G, D, B minor, A. Okay, this group will be repeated twice only for a chorus. Okay, are you ready? G, D, B minor, A. Ready? One, two, three, four. G. Go. One, two, three, four. D. D. D, D, D major. G, D, B, D, two, three, four, B minor, two, three, four, A, one more time, G, three, four, D, three, four, B minor, two, three, four, A, there you go, that's chorus, one, two, one last time, let's repeat chorus, one, two, Three, four. Lift him. Can you remember the? Uh, can you remember? Remember the pattern for your strumming. Go, go. Down, up, down, up, down. D. Up, down, up, down. G. Down, up, down. Okay. This pattern will be for your chorus only okay is it okay and you remember last time that i said that on your verse you just need to strum once each chord then it will be four counts then we go to chorus you need to do the strumming pattern this strumming pattern okay each chords will have this strumming pattern down uh, down up down up down down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. Okay? Can we do that? Yes. You ready? For chorus, go. D. Down, up, down, B minor. Down. Up, down, up, down, A. Up, down, up, down. One more time, G. B minor. A, two, three. Okay, there you go. Right. Now, in strumming, Ego, it's very important that you use your wrist. Okay. Let's stop the sharing. If you can see, when we strum, wrist is moving also. You don't strum this way. Okay, it's, it's very rob robotic. And you will sound very stiff. You will sound like this. Okay, and there's a lot of effort on that one. Now, when you're going to strum, make sure to move this one. So what? Uh, it's going to be smoother and you don't need more effort than this one. This is very, uh, uh, this is actually um, tiring when you do this. Okay, try doing this first. Can you do this one without chords first? Okay. Move your wrist. See that one? Wrist. Now, you can, you, you need to move your whole arm also, but make sure to move your wrist also. It's, it's like moving your wrist and moving the arm also. This way, it will sound smoother on your strumming. <laughs> Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Okay? Can you try it? 
You can do it a bit slower if you want to. B minor. Okay, make sure just move this one. And also, when you are playing, uh, remove the part where you do this. It's okay. It's okay to let the strings ring. After the four counts, you don't need to stop the strings. Okay? Just go directly to the next one. So don't do this. Why? Because you're pausing each chord. So don't pause each chord because you need to, you need to go to the next chord already. You get it? Okay, can you try it again without doing this after each pattern? Go. G. There you go. Right? Do that also for your verse. Okay. All right, so there you go. That will be intro, verse one, chorus one, already. Now, this song actually is just repeated. I mean, the, the, the group of chords will be repeated. After chorus one, you will go back to, then you just need to go back to verse. So that will be verse two. Okay. Oh, yeah. Migo, I need you to at least remember the names of the parts of the song, okay? The intro, verse, chorus, then uh, what verse? Is this the first verse? Is this the second verse? So that if we're going to practice, we're just going to say those, uh, say those part, parts of the song. If we're going to say, uh, if I'm going to say, uh, amigo, can you practice verse one for me? Just need to go to verse one, okay? We go and go to uh, chorus one. So those are the parts of our songs, okay? The body of a song. Now let's go to the next. Um, I don't know. Next lyrics. Yes, he will lyrics. And let's listen to it also. Okay, actually, it's just a repeat. Just repeat the group of chords of B minor, G, D, A. Okay. And later on, we're going to... have a new song. Can we do a new song? Can we start a new song? Did we already talk about uh, what song we're going to play? New song? Yeah. Yeah. What what song? I mean, what is the title of the song? Coastline. Coastline, yes. Remember? Yes. I remember Coastline. Okay, we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to... Do a bit of the chords for coastline, okay? Because uh, we need to go to your piano part. I mean, piano lesson. Okay. Now, um, Migo, I need you to practice with uh, Maggie playing those group of chords, okay? You will have the same chords and you just need to count for each each chord so that uh, on the next one we can play along with mommy with your mom and she can sing along already all right it's yes he will so it's very important that you practice first both of you then um, mom, mom is going to sing along she can already sing along after that one 
Okay, yes, you will. And coastline. All right. Let's go to coastline chords just a bit. Just need you to practice this. Is Maggie learning coastline on the piano? Not yet. That's the one I wanted to learn. You want to learn that also. Let's learn that next time, okay? I need you to practice. Um, yes, he will first. Uh, then next week, mom is going to play along with you. Is it okay? Yes. Yes. So next week, our goal is three of you will be singing. I mean, three, uh, uh, three of you are going to play. Yes, he will already. Is it okay? With mom, then um, you both of you needs to practice together first. Okay, you just need to count. Remember, huh? You just to count each chord. Okay, let's go to coastline. This one has no couple, but it's on G. Okay, the group of chords also is the chords that you are using actually. Let me hear this. Uh, let me hear the song first and see if the chords is correct. Sometimes chords in the internet is internet is not that good, so you just need to check it. I'm leaving home for the coastline Someplace under the sun I feel my heart for the first time Cause now I'm moving on, yeah I'm moving on And there's a place that I've dreamed of where I can free my mind I hear the sounds of the season And lose all sense of time I'm moving far away this is when it's, uh, To a sunny place So what we can do, we can actually play without uh, without the capo, we can just play one of the chords. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Yes, the the group of chords for yes, you is the same, right? It's D E D minor E. Okay, so uh, if you want to play the higher part of the song, you just need to use capo, but it's going to be a bit high. Um. First chord will be C. Let's just do the right. I know. Cause I need you to play. I mean, to block the strings. Have you tried blocking already? 
Yeah, like for AI, just do like that. Yes, but I need you to do this one. One. Okay. It's just repeating actually. It's just a repeating notes for G. Only home for the ghost like three, four, and on the sun. It's repeating, okay. I am going to write it down again on our because what we're going to do is Maggie is going to play chords. Just uh she's just going to hold the chords. Then what we're going to do is play plucking her that one, that part. Okay, the mag is just going to play chords G example two three four blah 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 okay so this is good because Maggie I need you to practice co those chords huh? because the chords for coastline is the same chords will be used for coast uh yes he will and coastline okay what I'm going to do wait let me just Download again a new tablature. It's going to be easy, don't worry. Have you tried that one already? Plucking that way, plucking chords. I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay, I'm gonna teach you how. Okay. I think it's glorious. Glorious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to do it when it's fast. Yes, when it's fast. Uh, uh, you just need to practice where to pluck and actually it's just repeating you're just going to re uh, pluck same strings for same chords okay this one let me show you example on g So I'm, what I'm going to do, Migo, uh, it is, is exactly what you're going to block. Okay. You're not going to play the chord uh, whole. You're going to uh, block, yes, block each parts of the chords individually first. Like this. Is it time for piano? Yes, it's going to be time for your piano, but I, I need you to practice this one first. So we will have we will have first part of coastline. So this is just for G major. Thank you. 
Can you try this? Okay. On your right hand, I need you to use just your thumb and your index finger. Okay. Where will you use your thumb? Just for your sixth string. Okay. The rest will be your index finger. So thumb, index, index again, thumb. Can you try? Okay. You're not going to do the whole chord for G. Just need, because you just need this part of the, so second finger here and third finger here. That's it. Can you do this one first? Go. Second finger. Just like, how do you do your G major? Go, do your G major first. Okay, now in this one, remove just you can remove your first finger because we don't need that one. We're just going to hit the sixth string, second, third, and first. Okay, now use your thumb for your sixth string, thumb, then index for your for the next one. On your right hand, use your thumb index here. Go. Right hand, where's your right hand? Yes, okay, thumb, block down, then index. Okay, when you when you block, amigo, when you block your strings, you don't need to move your whole hand. What you need to do, amigo, look here. What you need to do is just this. Try this one. Go. Don't move your whole hand. Okay. Use the tip, the fingertips. Yeah. Okay. But not this way. Do it this way. Just side view. There you go. Then try your index. There. That's correct. All right. That's how you're going to play it. All right. Now, I need you to hit this notes, Migo. This one only. This one, this one, this one. Use your thumb only for your sixth string. The rest will be your first, I mean, your index finger and your right hand. Can you try? Bum, 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 bum. Bum. This one first. No, try. Then this one. Have you tried plucking uh, already? And other songs? Not yet. Okay, pluck, just pluck down. Um, bum, 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 bum. Then it's going to be repeated for that song. Okay, so yeah, there we go. All right. Remove this one. Okay, this will be the group. All right, if we're going to have a hard time, um, we're going to play the chords just as is, okay? But uh, it will sound better if you do it this way. Okay, look at this, Mingo. It's just repeating. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum.
Just need to repeat this one four times. Um, sec- twice pala. Okay, now if you're going to play along with the first part, that's how it will sound. It's just the higher one. Okay, it will, the, the song is a bit higher because it's using capo. I'm leaving home for the coastline Someplace under the sun I feel my heart for the first time Cause now I'm moving on, yeah I'm moving on And there's a place that I've dreamed of where I can free my mind. All right, you're gonna have a hard time. You can have to strong and lose all sense of time. I'm moving far then away. That part you just need to go do this one. Yeah, that's it. The chords will be G, D, B minor, A. G, D, B minor, A. <laughs> Just like, yes, he will. Then, that's right. I'm moving. Da, da, da. If you're going to have a hard time on playing, uh, blocking, you can actually strum the chords. But you need to strum. Uh, the, the pattern will be like this. Okay. Down, up, up, down, up, down. It will be a lot. I'm moving on the way. Okay. I want you to, but I want you to try this one first, okay? All right, try this one. Try this pattern. Sweet this one. Okay, is it okay? Okay. You think you can do this one? Yeah. Yes, of course. But it's gonna be a little hard. Yeah, it's a bit a little, it's going to be hard because a little bit. I think you can do this one because you're not used to it first. At first it's going to be hard, but when you're used to it, I think you can do it because it's just repeating notes. Look at this one. And you can use your thumb and index. Remember when you when you when you do blocking on for your right hand, you don't move the whole arm, you just move your fingers. Like this, yeah. Can you see this one? Look here. I'm not moving it this way. Block, block, block. Move your fingers, just the fingers. Like this. Look here. You don't need to move your hand to block. Okay, practice that one first. All right, let's go to piano. Thank you. 
we're going to use the same book that you're using, okay? Alfred's piano. Uh, in this book, you did already uh, when the saints go marching in, right? start in this book i need you to play this one if you can already side read this can you try this one this song have you tried this song on your book or i think so i think so can you try this one mary ann can you play it first i need to hear or to check if you can already read this i don't i don't think i remember it I don't know. Okay, but can you can you tell me the letter names for this one? How about this? I think I forgot the you forgotten. Okay. Um let's go back a bit. Okay, but can you find your middle C? Can you look? Can you remember? Can you play your middle C? Yes, that's correct. That's middle C, right? Okay. Where will you find your middle C? On your G clef. Here. This one. That's middle C, right? Okay, remember? Yes, it's middle C. Now let's go here. Because uh you uh you were already doing uh yung Saint when the saints go marching in, it's a bit uh a lot of chords already. Yeah. Right? So I think we can read this one. Okay. Now, what teacher is going to do is I'm always going to ask you the letter names. Okay, what are the letter names? Example for this one. What note is this? What's the letter name for this note? This is E. You remember? Oh. No? Okay. Yes, okay. So it's it's important that you remember letter names first. Then you go where they are located on the piano. Okay, this E, where is this located on the piano? This one. This is the E that we are looking at. Can you can you play that one first? Can I hear? That's E also, but that E is already on this part on the G clef. This E is lower. Where's that? E? There you go. Okay, that is why, Migo, important that you know where your position is at. Because there's a lot of E, diba? Right? There's a lot of E on your left side. There's the lowest E. What is the lowest E on your left side? Yes, that's the lowest E. The next one is this. What's the next? Next. There's a lot of E, diba? Right? Now, in reading your in your in on reading your notes, that will be what that what will be called range. Okay, so we can call this one, Migo. We can call this one. This, this will be. That will be your, uh, E three. Do you know that one? P three. E. Why E3? Because it's the third E from your left. Can you count? Can you press your first E first? That's your first E. Next E. And that is the third E. Okay? We call it E3. 
Okay. So when I say amigo, you go to E3 because this is E3. Amigo, you go to E4. Where's E4? Yes. Now, E4 is actually, amigo, it's on the side of the G clef. Okay. So very, very important because what's the use of the range of E if we're not going to play the right range? Okay. Now, it's telling you here, Migo, that you need to use your third finger for that E. Where's your third finger in your left hand? It's your middle finger. Yes. Use your third finger for your E. E3. Go. Put your third finger on that one. Okay. Now, of course, Migo, this position is actually a C position. Correct? Is it a C position? It's a C position. And then um, the middle finger where you're putting your C is mm -hmm. where you, it's the finger with that you press E. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, your fifth finger is actually in C. And your first finger, I mean, yes, your first finger, which is your thumb, is on the G. Okay, this is your C position. Okay. Okay. Now, that will be your position for your left hand in this song. Okay, how about, what kind of note is this, Migo? What kind? Is it a quarter? Is it a half? Is it a whole? What kind of note? Is it a whole? Whole note? Is it half note? I think half. Yes, it's a half note. How many, how many does a half note will receive? Two beats. Yes, two beats. So you just need to press on it for two beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Are you ready? What's the letter name for this one? If this is E, what is this? Oh, G. Yes, okay. Then tell me the letter names. C. C. E. Next. E. G. Yes. Okay, that's it. Then next one. E. This one. F. Yes. Okay, let's play. Put your hands on your left. I mean, your, your left hand only. Ready? Let's count. Okay, ready and. One, two, three, four. And one more time. One, two, three, four. One. C. Where's your C? Good. Then. Three, four. One, two. E first E. D, two, three, four. There you go. That's it. Where's F? Where's F? This is F. F will be on the second finger. All right. Where's F? Where is this? There you go. All right. One more time, Migo. Go. One, two. What's this? F. F. Wait, what? F. This oh, is a power yeah. Yes. One more. Close to each other. Yes. That is. But what do you call this one? This is a tied note. Half note. Can you remember? So tied note is just combined value of note. So if this is two counts and this is four counts, it's going to be six counts if you combine them. You don't need to play the next note, actually. You just need to hold on to that one. Okay? Yes. Six seconds. Yes. Okay, one more time. Then we're going to do chords on your right hand. Go. Yeah. 
Use your second finger. Two, three, three, four, five, six, la la la. Okay? All right. Now let's go to your right hand. Can you remember your chords on your right hand? G7. Can you remember this? Huh? Can you remember this chord? No. No? G7? You actually are doing that one on G7. the song. Yes, on the song, I know, uh, when the saints go marching in. Okay, let's do the chords. Go. First finger, the fingers are already actually written here on the uh, side. Okay, first finger on B. Where, where is this B? Where is this B? Is, this, is it this one or this one? This is actually your fourth B from your left. Go find that fourth B on the left from the from your left. Found it. Can you play it? Lower. It should be lower. Is it uh, is it the third or the fourth B? Third. Third B. Okay, go. So that will be your third B from your left. Wait. You use your third finger. I mean your first finger on your. Go. First finger on your right hand. Right hand. Where's your right hand? No, no, no. Right hand. Right hand. Where's your right hand? Right hand. There you go. Seven B F Yes, okay. B F G go one more time. Okay, play together. Okay, that's your G seven. All right. Now, Migo, let's play both hands. You're going to start here and play your chords here. Are you ready? Place your right and left hand on their positions. Go. You will sound this way. Hmm. No, 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 no. Wait, your left hand is where's where is this E again? Where is this E again on your left hand? Yes. Okay, that's your position. Put your put your left hand there only. That's your position. C position. C position. Okay, don't remove your hand there. Now put your right hand in this next B. It's actually near. They're actually near. Where's that B? There you go. All right. Are you ready? From here, ready? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, four. One, two, three, four chords. Okay, there you go. Can you remember how it's, it's supposed to be played? Can you remember? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. This will be your assignment, Migo. So why I'm, am I letting you do this and why I want you to read again? Because after a few of songs from this book, I want you to play songs. Um chords yes you can play chords also or songs that uh that's not on this book it will be your choice or my choice or mom's choice okay example if you want to play a piece from beethoven <laughs> or if you want to play a piece any song a pop song uh, anything that you want to but it will be we're going to read it on notes okay is it okay because 
we need to practice first reading before playing notes. But this one, this song actually, Mary Ann. Do you know this song, Mary Ann? No. No? This is actually a gypsy song. You know what a gypsy is? What? Gypsy. No. No, yeah, familiar. Okay. I'm going to let you hear it. Originally, Mary Ann is actually a, a very fast song. Okay, let me show you. Calypso. It's called a Calypso tune. Originally, Mary Ann, it sounds like this. Wait, let's hear it. This is actually a traditional song, Mary Ann. Listen to this one. Can you hear it? All day, all night, Miss Mary Ann. Down by the seaside, she sits in sand. Trains on her back, your head's tired of boat. Water from the ocean can sail a boat. DJ Day was back and all. The whole island played carnival. People were jumping to and fro to the rhythm of a red hot calypso. Here they singing all day, all night, Miss Marian. Down by the sea, and it's a very traditional that it's been up and joke and tie a boat. Water from the and it ocean came from come up, Mr. Coleman. Jazz song, you know what? Jazz. But in this book, of course, it's not going to be played that way. But the melody is the same. Melody is the same. All day, all night, Mary and three, four. Okay? It's the same song. Down by the seashore, Mary and sift in the sand. Da, da. But if you're going to play it fast, it's the same. I mean, it will sound the same. All day, all night. Okay. So why am I explaining this? Because I want you to look at this one. Calypso tune. I want to look at this one. Moderately fast. And of course, I want you to practice your positions. Okay? Remember where you will find this E. Remember what is your points. What is G7? All right, we're going to practice it, huh? Reading again. Okay, Nico. Okay. Um, I'm going to send the whole book, Alfred's Basic Piano Course. I'm going to send this one to mom's uh, messenger, okay? And I need you to practice this song, Calypso. Calypso tune, Mary Ann. What's Calypso? Calypso, yes, uh, it's a traditional song. Calypso. Calypso. It's like a gypsy. It's traditional. Um, uh, when you, hold on, let's Calypso. It's a kind of song. Uh, or it's it's a genre of song. It's like a classical song, pop song, jazz, rock. Now, Calypso. What does Calypso mean in music? That one. A type of folk song, primarily from Trinidad. The, the song always were in Southern and Eastern Caribbean islands. You know what Caribbean is? What? Caribbean islands. Have you heard of that one? 
Mm. No? <laughs> the subject of Calypso text, usually witty and satiric, is a local and top, uh, tropical of political and social import. So mm. the tone is actually from, uh, it's mostly from experiences of people. Just like pop songs, rock songs, there is also a calypso tune, calypso. All right? And the rhythm is always fast, mostly. Calypso is an Afro-Caribbean music genre that began in the nation of Trinidad and Tobago. Okay? That's it. That's calypso. And it's always a bit fast, upbeat. It's an upbeat song. All right? Calypso. This one is Caribbean. Look at that. It's a beach. Oh. Yes. It's like African. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Do you know the movie? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. No. No? Not yet. Johnny Depp. Okay, anyway. Migo. Let's go to your lesson, student. Sheet. Today is September, I know October, it's already October 3. And we did Yes, He Will, Coastline, and Mary Ann. Okay, it's your third session. Okay. okay I'm going to send everything, okay? Migo, the mom's messenger. You can check it there, All right? Please practice how we did it, uh, how we practiced it. So that we can play along with mom on next week. Someone's going to uh, sing already. All right? Okay. I just practice. Yeah. All right. I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.